Hello, you buddies. I'm Mr. 490 here. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. And my this is going to be how to solve a Rubik's Cube, which, yeah. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to get the pieces. Uh, we're going to get pieces that look like this first. So, as you man. Let's see. Oh, I have to do my with the camera. So, yeah. I got my new camera, so. Look up for more videos like this. Okay, so look for like pieces of this kind of edge, like this, this. I just took this apart because so I screwed it up. I don't want to solve it, but I will show you a cool trick at either the end of the video or the end of the other video. You know what? If you stay to the end of the video, I will show you the trick. I'm probably still making another video of that trick. Because maybe not even watch this video. Okay, so I like the dark brown color. This light's gonna help me with the camera and help you guys. I'm sorry I'm at my desk. This is where I should have the something for this thing. Set up for it. Okay. No, need this one and then the other side. So if you look at this, uh, I'm going to start with the white side. So we need to find all the pieces that have white on it. Yellow. Uh, white. White. And it should be four. Four. Yeah. So you know they don't have the light, which is really hard to catch on myself. So I'm not gonna catch it on the camera. And this one has red, so you see there's a white and a red. You just slide the piece in there. This is the easy part. Then you have white and blue, which you just slide it in there. The third one's gonna be the hardest. I think I'm gonna do this smartly. This smart, smartly. Uh, I usually just shove them in there wherever I find them. But this time I'm gonna do it. Good, so for the sake of the video, just so you guys know what to do, if you ever break your Rubik's Cube or. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to the orange, which you see there's already one done, so we did the white side with it. Uh, orange and yellow. So we're in orange, so we can just do orange and yellow. And this is. Oh no. And it breaks sometimes, which you have to refix it. But it's not that hard. That's pretty simple. This is just, just in case. Like, I don't want to break it, so I'm going to see how you do it for sure. And you sometimes do have to pop them in, which that wasn't out. I was hoping that would be a pop one. Uh, I really hope you guys can see well with my hands and stuff. I think you guys I'm trying to go to a different angle. Okay, so now let's do the green ones. Now we get to find an orange and green, which that's red and green. Red, blue, red, red. That's orange, I lied. Uh, blue and. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so then. Okay, so this is green. So that's the one I wanted, so you just pop it in there. Why make that popping sound? If you look, you can like. Let me do it this way. You can, it kind of comes out. That's what it's doing. It's taking it out for a second and it's putting it back in. That's why it's kind of magnetic, kind of thing. I uh, don't know where the rest of the oranges. Ah, right here. Well, here's one of them. Yeah, last one. Blue and orange. So I'm just going to put that in there. Like that. And then look, you have the white, the orange, two of this, three of this, and three of this. And then if we want to just go in like a, like, I kind of wish to do this beginning. I'll show you, I guess this would be cool here for what it is from the side. So, yeah, put this here. Uh, red and yellow. Let's put this here. And there's something cool that even if you didn't break it and you like it, this is good for if you can't solve it, just break it. And then there's uh, blue and yellow, which will go right here. And you ready? It's probably going to make a popping sound. Yeah, it pulls out, and it kind of makes a little one. And this one obviously goes here. And here's another cool thing. This is like another challenge. If you can if you can do it without breaking it, which is really hard. But if you can like, because you can still turn it normally. But if you can do it without breaking it, that's good. I really hope the camera's like, it can catch my sound very well too. Okay, now, I think, yeah. Uh, blue yellow and orange. So this is when it gets a little more complicated because you have to get the blue, which is right there. 
the yellow, which is right there, and the orange, which is right there. You can put it in the correct spot, which would be right here. And you have all three of them. It'll be a little rattly until it's fully done. It's, uh, blue, orange, and white this time. So, blue, orange, white. Right there. Uh, orange, that's just the blue ones. Blue, red, and white. Uh, blue, red, white. So, I just go in this corner. It's really helpful because I had to break it anyways because I screwed it up. Like, I think I twisted one of them. And I'll show you if about if you get this one. Blue, red, yellow. Uh, I'll show the green, which are the other ones left. So green, red, yellow. So you have to find the yellow. Oh no, it's orange. Almost screwed it up. And this one's obviously going to be here because it's the only other word there. It kind of makes sense because like the turns, it can only go one direction. Uh, and then there's. Yes. And if you get this, oh, okay, here's a good example. So if you get this rear tube, uh, you can actually turn the corners. If you know what I mean, if you look, uh, somehow. Yeah. Is that in good view? Where's a good spot? Let me turn the light off. Can I move my monitor? Okay. I feel like it looks really weird. Okay, so this one's messed up. You see, it has to be turned. You can turn it like that. Yeah. And if you're okay, so once you have it fully done, here's a cool trick to impress some of your friends. So if you go, okay, so first move, so I like, it doesn't matter what color you do better than any of them. We will pick blue. Most people don't want to link, that's normal. Yeah. Oh, and I'll just show you something else when we're done with this trick. But basically, you turn this face like this. So turn the whatever side you're doing it on. Turn this face this way. This face up. That down. Slide up. That way down. That way. That way. That way. That way. So you go slide the right or left. Up, right, down. Left, up, right, down. Left, up, right, down. And it solves itself. And get a screwdriver. Let's check out my fancy dancy screwdriver. And then you have this. If you want to make them looser, which I need to make a blue one looser, uh, you use screws in it. And you use a screwdriver just to loosen them up, which I think I'm doing in the wrong direction. No, it's in the right direction. No, I tightened it. Whoops. And this is, okay, to make it really, really loose. Like this kind of see how loose it is? That's because you move the middle. Which I don't like it that loose, so I'm gonna actually tighten them. And all the faces I don't think come off. I could be no, they don't, because it's only it's only in the middles. Yeah. Look, a bunch of people in my school now well not a bunch. A couple of people in my school just mess with these in school. Now there's a hair in it, which I actually can't get out. Where did, where is that hair? Why is it there? I'm gonna try to pull it out and then take the hair. There we go. Then that hair was fun because it wasn't long enough to be mine. Then I just realized I was wearing this whole time. And okay, so there's another trick which if you can't remember to do this, but sometimes you do mess up. Because if you do it one thing wrong, you're kind of screwed and I can never go back. Uh, let me just do it so I can have it solved. That, that, that. I think I'm doing it. Yeah, I did it right. Okay, but you can just keep going like this. And that will solve it after 128 moves, though. I do not recommend to do it that way. Uh, wrong way. 